Shane, hi. Um, guess who? Lee at Craftsman Direct. And I'm in your favorite place in mine, the Governor's Club again. And um, uh, Benton has asked us to give him a quote for, um, and, and I want to give you a big picture of, look at the angles. They look very familiar to the uh, lady with the copper gutters, if you can remember that. But what happened is that tree down there impacted the home. And if you notice that um, the left half of that 2x8 has got a 1x on it. And it took out this run, and I'm going to give you a better view. But um, to come down here to this pier, and the great example is that pier, because you see that you've got a double angle coming off of that one by eight. And then one of the things I, I, I told Benton that we would not do is we're not going to shortcut our um, what is that a two by eight member? Because you see all that caulk. And you see the top how they got a hole in it that we're going to cut ours so that they actually fit correctly but um got a double angle here running down and um <clears throat> we will have to uh remove this section to that point and replace that and uh another neat trick uh, to see the paint paddle up here that they've got for keeping that together which hey if it works in addition to that this side looks pretty good um, maybe a little bit back and you see the breach in the caulk but um, this side has has taken a little bit of impact and our homeowner has suggested that if um, we can push this railing back to where it's supposed to be everything else looks good let's try to get some fasteners hidden up underneath and visible and uh, this guy has seen better days and so we'll have to replace that's uh, a two by six on the top measuring under 12 feet and it doesn't look like we've had anything affected below that two by six and i think i'm gonna hold that answer so it's it's a nudge it's a two by six replace and let me give you a better view from a different vantage point um all right, there he is. Zoom in, and if you can carry this guy out, and um, you see that top board here, that's got to be added. Um, we measured right at 12 feet, and it's so close to 12 feet, I promise that it's probably gonna click in at like 12 feet, one inch. So we'll, we'll try to make 12s work so we don't have to get 16s and have 25% waste, but if we do, then we do and um let's work on this from a problem solving perspective bobby's been here and failed to find a 20 foot one by but he noticed that it was sagging in the middle right there in a part that is a non-essential repair and if we can come up with a way to fix that our homeowner would be happy but but let's just uh let's just call that icing on the cake that that's not something that's uh, that's what I would call 9/11 critical. What we're contracted to do is is to do the, the tree impact damage, and and I know that uh, between all of our heads we can come up with a great alt alternative. But um, anyhow, that's what we've got. Um, I'm going to discuss matching paint. It uh, looks like we may have a brick to point up. <laughs> no, I can do that. You got you got the brick, Benton. Okay. I can do that. Which is a great. I just noticed that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't see it either. But um, I'll let you have the brick work. And um, do you have any leftover paint? I do. Uh, we painted this not long ago, and we've got tons of the uh, paint uh, left great. over. That's good. And it helps because the color match can then be called perfect. Mm -hmm. Shane, I thank you for the opportunity and um, look forward to talking to you about this one. Let's uh, get it on the table for discussion, find the materials, and, uh, and get this gentleman a quote as quickly as we reasonably can. Thank you.